Running is, was my biggest thing. Joe Evangelist used to love to run, to work out, to jump on his big Harley Davidson and cruise the open road. He used to. With the muscle wasting, my hands get tired fast and I can't hang on. The persistent weakening of his muscles turned out to be ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Joe's first instinct was to just hit the gym and try to rebuild his strength. When I was diagnosed, I was like, I'll go out and work hard and do all this. And they said, no, 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 don't do that. It's a horrible disease. Mayo Clinic neurologist Dr. Nathan Staff says there's no cure and no effective treatment. It's caused by degeneration of neurons that live in the spinal cord, the brain stem, and in the brain. And those neurons control the muscles. Eventually, paralysis becomes so severe, patients even lose the ability to breathe. That's why Joe volunteered for a clinical trial involving stem cells. Dr. Staff says the Mayo Research Team collects cells from the patient's own body fat and cultures them in a lab for six to eight weeks until they multiply to as many as 200 million stem cells. Then they're injected into the spinal fluid. Where they don't normally live and are known to uh, secrete uh, factors that may uh, help those neurons live longer. So there are different mechanisms uh, by which stem cells may be helpful for ALS. Uh, the avenue that we're pursuing is using the stem cells to serve as a neuroprotective uh, agent. A ray of hope. Although this is the first phase of human testing for this approach, the hope one day is to slow or completely halt progression of the disease. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.